everyone, it's Sarah, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is on my new iPhone 11. I got the Lavender 128GB version, and if you guys haven't seen my unboxing, make sure to check that out. I'll leave a link below and up in the card here. But yeah, this is my new phone. I'm super excited. For those of you who don't know, I used to have an iPhone 6S Plus that I've had for literally like four years, so this is a huge upgrade. Yeah, let's start looking at what's inside my phone. So my lock screen is just a picture of my boyfriend and I on our university's like homecoming day. Just just looks like that and I love now that like your picture takes up the whole screen it's so cool and then it just unlocks on my face and I just swipe up my first screen on my phone is basically just like a bunch of the apps that like it comes with and then I added a couple more that I use on a daily basis so the first one that I have is messages and yes I have 46 messages I have a lot of different group chats and everything that I don't go through that's why there's so many notifications on there then I have my calendar I don't really use that calendar as much as I use Google Calendar so I'll show you guys that in a bit then I have photos and I have a bunch of photos on there and the app store I have 14 updates camera so this is like the new camera oh that is my messy room let's turn it this way there we go so that is the selfie camera it just looks like this and then you can also like press like those arrow buttons and it like zooms out and everything it's so cool and I'll turn it around so you guys can like see there you are there's my laundry and everything behind but it's super awesome and then you can like zoom out and that's what it looks like so super cool I can't wait to try it like when I'm out taking pictures with my friends and everything it'll be able to give me like a super wide lens then I have wallet which I use wallet for like all my cards and everything so I'm not going to go into that then I have FaceTime, which is a normal settings, weather, and then I have a little folder called utilities. So I have notes, clock, contacts, calculator, and then Google, the Google app. I don't really use it much. Home, I don't really use home because I use like the Echo Dot and everything. iTunes Store, LT Watch, that's just the bus schedule in London, Ontario where I go to school. Then I have Find My, which I think they merge Find My Friends and Find My iPhone together, so that's what that is. I have Flip, which is like a little like, I haven't actually even used this very often. You just find like different flyers and everything on here. Don't really use it that often. I have Apple Music, which I don't really use because I use Spotify. And then Rocketman is just like the TTC app. It's like the transportation system in Toronto when I go home. I have Twitter, which you guys can follow me on. I'll leave a link down below. Snapchat, which is like a private Snapchat, so I don't give that out. Then I have Netflix, and I'm currently almost on 13 Reasons Why Season 3. It's taken me such a long time to watch it, but I have like two episodes left. And then I have Instagram, and you guys can follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is Taylor Sarah with three H's because one age was taken but yeah you guys can totally follow me on here and see what I'm up to because I post on there a lot whether it's like stories or like actual pictures and then I have Facebook which I have a private Facebook and then I have the YouTube app which I like love watching all my videos in the morning and everything and basically then I have YouTube studio which is like the back end of like YouTube for like youtubers so I can go ahead and like respond to comments in there like see my analytics see views and subscribers and everything about that and then I have Google Calendar and I like to use that a lot more than like the Apple Calendar just because I like the way that it's laid out. Then I have an app called Hours Tracker, which is basically just how I track my hours for work. Then I have Coho, which is like a banking thing. It's basically like kind of like a prepaid Visa card that you can like put money on and then you can only spend that much a month. You can also create like joint accounts with like your partner. So like Matthew and I, my boyfriend, we can like create a joint account and then if we spend things like for us, we can just put it on that card. I do have a code for that where you get $20 if you use my code when you sign up. It's completely free. You don't have to like pay anything for it. The code is here and then I'll leave it down below as well. Then I have Milo, which is basically like an app that rounds up your everyday purchases and then puts it into an account so if I spend something that's like $5.95 it'll round it up to six dollars so those five cents will go into this account and eventually it builds up I do also have a code for that as well I think you get five dollars so I'll leave the code here and also down below so make sure to check that out it's super awesome I don't even like see that money coming out of my account because I like, guess just like five cents here ten cents there but it does build up which is really nice and then I have my Amazon Alexa and basically it just like shows me the weather and different things that I can do to like communicate with my Alexa and everything so that's what I use to like turn on all my lights and everything and communicate with my TV and stuff that's the bottom I just have phone Gmail I like using Gmail for like everything I just like the way it's laid out yes I have a lot of misread emails because I get a lot of spam mail and then I have Safari and then I have Spotify because I use that like for my generic music I do have a profile so I'll leave it down below so you guys can check that out and see my playlist playlists. Then I have TikTok. I have just recently become liking TikTok. Basically TikTok is just like a fun video thing. Like it's kind of like Vine. A lot of people just like post random videos on it. They're like super short and they're like dances or like funny like videos. So just kind of scroll through on the For You page and kind of just see what there is. I do have an account. It's called at I'm Sarah Taylor. If you guys want to follow it, I haven't posted anything yet, but I may start to post things. Who knows? And then I have Uber, which is basically like a college student's necessity. You need to get around. So Uber. Then I have Starbucks and I love Starbucks. So I have a bunch of stars. So so I have to go up and use those. Then I have Amazon because I like buying a bunch of things on Amazon. It's just easier to like track on my phone. 
I have Waze, which is like a navigational system map. I don't really like using like Apple Maps or Google Maps, even though I do have them on my phone. Waze just like tells you like where the traffic is and everything and can alert you have like police officers or like construction and it always seems to get me there faster. Then I have Facebook Messenger where a lot of like different like school chats are and everything. I don't really use that normally, just like basically for chats like in my classes and stuff. And then I have Visco, which you guys can check out if you want as well. My username is Sarah Taylor 113 I haven't posted on here in such a long time, but I basically use it to edit all my photos on Instagram. But if you guys want to see a video on how I edit my photos, you can comment down below and I can do that. And then I have the Tesla app, so whenever I drive my dad's car, I can just like use it on my phone rather than having to get like the key card for the car. So super handy and helpful. Then I have Shazam, which you basically probably all know. It's basically you just press the button, it listens to the songs around you, and then tells you what the song is. And then I have Visa, which is kind of like the app that I like see my analytics from Social Blade. I'm a BBTV partner, so that's how I like get paid and everything is through this app. Then I have a school folder. So in my school folder, I have the Western U, which is just like a school app, the Western USC, another Western app, and then USC Eats. It's kind of like their Uber Eats version of like food on campus. Then I have Dropbox, where I just like drop files to. Outlook, which doesn't work very well, but that's like my university's emails on it. Pages, have never used. Keynote, never used. File, never used. Books, have never used. Docs, I've used a couple of times. And then Photo Math is basically like you can take a picture of it and it like solves it for you. But I don't really use those that often. Just need to have them on my phone because I swear when I delete them, I'm going to need them. Then my next folder is Smart Home. So I just have Smart Life, which is like the app that the little smart plugs that I have in my room are required for you to download. So I have that. And then I have Tether, which is basically an app that like controls all like the different wi-fi extenders in my house google home which is for my google home at home i it allows me to like control it then i have this like flur secure which is like for the cameras at my house at home and then google assistant which is like the another like google platform and then i have shortcuts i've never used this i don't know how to use it i'm going to watch a youtube video on it maybe then i can show you guys how to use it or if you guys have used shortcuts before comment down below and let me know i don't really know what to do with it i haven't like Google's enough about it, but yeah, maybe one day I'll be able to use shortcuts. And then my third page just has a bunch of different folders. I just like having everything organized. So I just have travels and I have Vera, which is like one of the apps that allows me to like book my train home. And then I have the app called Hostel World, which you can like book hostels. It has this really cool feature called like Speak the World, which basically like it can like translate things for you, which is super cool. Green P, which is like how I pay for like public parking in Toronto. Lyft, which you guys have heard of, same as Uber. Google Maps, don't really use. Maps, don't really use. And then in my social folder, my Pinterest, I don't really use it. I don't even know if I've signed into it. Oh, I have. Oh, I don't even know. It's like making me pick a bunch of new things, but that's what that is. And then I have WhatsApp, which is basically like how I communicate with my job. Fongo, which is an app that you can like call people through Wi-Fi. So whenever like I'm away on vacation or whatever and I want to call home, I just call through that. Google Duo, which is kind of like FaceTime, but you can FaceTime with multiple people that like don't have an iPhone. And then I have LinkedIn, which is like a business social media platform, which just allows you to like network and everything. Then I have my games folder, so I'll go through these really quick. I have basketball, you just shoot basketballs. Then I have the app called Stack, you just like stack layers on top of something and you have to like play and then if you like let it go over, it all like falls down you have to get like the highest score. Then I have football, you just shoot like a soccer ball but it's called football because I think it's British. Smash hit, you just like have to smash things, it's fun. Tiny tower, I used to play this a lot, I don't really play this anymore. Ooh, I have a bunch of different things for my tower. This is what my tower looks like, super cool, it's super tall but I stopped playing it for while then I Pokemon Go because it was a craze like a couple years ago when I still have it on my phone to like occasionally catch Pokemon. Mario Kart which I just actually started playing yesterday. It just came out and I don't think they do multiplayer yet which I can't wait for when they do multiplayer but it's basically like you play Mario Kart. It's loading up. It's gonna take a while to load. Not gonna open that. Draw Race, I haven't actually even used it. I just downloaded it as one of like Apple's like top games. So if I use that, I'll let you guys know. Impossible, another like road racing game. And then I have Smashy Road, which basically you just have to like drive like your truck around and like avoid the cops. Kind of fun, I don't know, when I'm bored I play it. Checkers, generic checkers game. Cricket, which is a game I used to play a lot. Like you basically like, spin a wheel and you like gain like five cents, 20 cents, 10 cents. I do have a code for it. I currently have a 661 balance. So you like spin the code and you can like get, get actual money. Eight ball pool, which is basically just like pool. Heads up, which is like that Ellen game that's kind of like charades. And then Subway Surf. I don't know why I have these on like two separate pages, but I do. Subway Surf is basically like Temple Run, but like you're running through like subway trains and then i have a food app which has uber eats get the dishes which are all like food delivery platforms tim horton so i can use like my tim reward card mcdonald's second cup pizza pizza instacart is a like grocery delivery service that they offer so i use that sometimes special a doordash 
and then tasty is an app that you can like download and see different recipes and it shows you i actually have not even like created an account but i saw it on buzzfeed so they just show you like different like easy ways to make recipes so that's that and then open table is basically an app that you can like book like restaurant reservations rather than having to go in and call then i have a photo app so i have facetune which sometimes i like to like lighten the background and everything on time hop which allows you to see like what photos you posted like a year ago two years ago whatever on that day i haven't connected it on this phone yet so I don't know if it'll go. Let's see what I posted October 4th last year. Um, some weird Twitter thing that I posted a year ago. My dog, so cute. Um, Taylor Swift, oh yeah, four years ago I was at the Taylor Swift concert. Super fun, I don't know why that's not loading. No, like eight years ago I said morning Twitter, so lunchtime, yay. And then, oh my God, so much stuff. It like literally didn't even want to put it into one side. So I tweeted a lot when I first got Twitter eight years ago. And then I have Unfold, which I've never used before, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it. It's basically how to like make your like Instagram stories like a lot more like organized and everything. And there's different like filters and stuff. I don't know really how to use it, but yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for now. And then I have Layout, which is like how you can lay out like collages. I use this a lot more when I would like lay out photos. I don't really use it anymore, but yeah, that's what it is. The Bitmoji is just like the app for like Snapchat so you can have your little Bitmoji character. Money, I have RBC Wallet, which is another way I can access like my debit card. Mint is just an app that tells me like how much I've spent. Splitwise is basically an app where you can download within your roommates and you can add like different expenses that you guys have all like paid for and then see who goes what. Drop is an app where you can like connect your like debit card or credit card to it and then see I haven't signed up on this phone yet and then you get like points for like spending in different places and then you can redeem them for like gift cards and stuff I do have a code for that as well so I'll leave that here as well as down below RBC rewards just allowed me to see like my rewards for my credit card checkout 51 is an app I haven't signed up on this phone either but basically you can like scan your like groceries and then you can like get money back for it so that's that PayPal, which is how I access my PayPal. And then Credit Karma is basically an app that you can like check your credit score on. And then I have like two like casino like apps of the Play OLG Casino, which is like for Ontario. And then OLG Lottery, which is like for the lottery system. Again, it's 18 here, so I'm going to do that. Then I have Lifestyle app. I have Speed Test, which basically like tests how fast like the internet is. Virgin Mobile benefits because I'm with Virgin Mobile, so that's how I see my benefits. iScanner, which is how you can like scan different documents. And then this app here, TCC, is for like the thermostat at home. And then I have a Virgin Mobile like my account thing, so I can see like my usage and stuff. The Apple News, which I don't really use. Stratus Collab is like a like apartment searching platform to like search for in Toronto in case I'm ever looking, even though I can't afford anything right now. And then My Radar is an app where you can like see like the radar of like the rain above you. And then I have shopping. So I have the SVC card, which is like a student discount card. I have American Eagle, Kachiji, which is like you sell used things, Sephora, Garage, PC Optimum, which is like a rewards card for like Loblaws and like Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. Auto Trader, in case I ever have a desire to buy a car, which I do, but I don't have the money for it right now. So I like to look and hope. Poshmark, which is an app where you can buy used things. I'll leave my account information down below in case you want to buy anything that I'm selling. Let Go is another like selling used stuff app. Then Ebates is an app where basically you sign into Ebates, it redirects you to the website, and then you get cash back. So you can get like 1%, 2%, 3%, depending on the website. Super helpful. I've gained actually a lot of money from that because I do online shop a lot. Again, I have a code. You get $5, so you can use that code here, and I'll leave it down below as well. And then Uni Days, I think is like a discount cap for university. I don't really use it. And then the health app, I have the like Apple Health. I have Nike Training, which is just a bunch of workouts. And then my Fitbit, which I don't really use as much. I don't have it at school here, but I did use it a lot in the summer. And then I have a Google folder, which just has Google Photos. So that's how I like sync everything up to the cloud. And then Google Drive, which I can put like my documents on to be able to access them anywhere. And then I have a TV folder, which just has Apple TV. And I think they've now combined that to like stuff that you bought on iTunes and everything. If I'm sure, let's see what it shows. Yeah, it shows like different like movies and stuff you can buy and then your library like stuff that you've purchased. Then I have Prime Video because we have Amazon Prime like my family so you can watch different movies on there. I have Bell 5 TV which allows me to watch like my TV from my phone and then Apple Remote so I can control like my Apple TV through my phone. And then I have a Cineplex folder so Cineplex is like the movie like system in Canada. I don't know if it's just a Canadian thing or American thing. I don't know. Basically it's just like the movie theater in Canada. Um, so I have a like Cineplex like app so I can like look and see if there's any movies. I have Time Play which is like a game that you can play before like the movies start and then I have the scene card which is like their reward system and then I have an app called extras so I just have compass voice memos reminders which I never use measure and then FM musica which is basically like an app that you can like download free music on I don't even know if it works anymore honestly I haven't looked at this in a really long time 
I don't know if it works anymore. So you can try that out if you want to. And then, yeah, that is all I have on my phone. There's a lot of stuff on here because it is now 128 gigabytes, so I can fit so much stuff on here. If I change things up and organize things or add new apps or delete them, I will make another video maybe in the new year about what's on my iPhone currently. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down below other videos you want to see from me and other videos you want me to do on the iPhone. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.